Hello there and thanks for stopping by. Two years and two months ago I put together my first gaming PC and it was highlighted with the Ryzen 2700X. And now with the prices finally dropping on the new series of Ryzen CPUs I decided to pick up the Ryzen 9 5900X to pump up my rig. Now as you know the 5900X runs extremely hot so first let me show you my rig, my air cooling solution and what I've done with the voltage and the frequency to keep this thing in check. First off, let's take a look at the case. I'm using Corsair's 4000D Airflow Black. And believe me, I need all the airflow this thing can give me. That 5900X runs really hot. But to tackle this beast, you can see right there, I am filled up with Noctua fans. And the main cooler, the NHD15, you can see I have it loaded up with three 140 millimeter fans on this dual heat sink. And for the intake on the front of this case, I have three 120 millimeter Noctua fans. On top, I do have two 120 millimeter exhaust fans, even though the one on the right top, I might change that to an intake to give this beast some more fresh air. And of course I have a 120 millimeter fan as an exhaust fan. Now the 5900X I have installed on my previous motherboard or my, my very beginning motherboard, the X470 Pro from Asus. And to highlight it, I do have a 2070 RTX graphics card. And behind that monstrous heat sink, I do have a two x 16 kit for 32 megabytes of RAM. So all in all, I'm gonna need every ounce of that heat sink and every bit of those Noctua fans to keep this cool. So let me show you the voltage and the frequency I've set this at to keep this 5900X at a reasonable temperature. All right, even though I had all those Noctua fans, that big heat sink with three fans, this thing was idling at 50 degrees and the voltage was at 1.45, 1.51, jumping all around and it was running way too hot out of the box. So I am a, a novice at overclocking, but I know a little bit. So I went into the AI tweaker on my ASUS motherboard. Of course, I set the DOCP to my rated RAM speed of 3200. But then I, I went to the CPU core ratio. You know, you got a base clock of 37 or 3.7 gigahertz. Through trial and error, I pumped this thing all the way up to 4.6 gigahertz. And as far as voltage, and that's an all core overclock that that 46 multiplier right there. And for the voltage, which was running at 1.4 up to 1.51 that I saw it spike to, I dropped this and I'm able to keep it dropped down to 1.262 volts on that 4.6 gigahertz all core overclock. And that's basically all I did. I kept everything else on auto. All right, now that we're back into the desktop, you can see right here, I'm using the core tip 1.17.1 as a gauge to see how hot and cold my CPU runs, you can see right now I'm idling at about 34 degrees. So a significant temperature decrease from the stock settings out of the box on the 5900X. All right, the next thing I do wanna show you is I'm gonna do two Cinebench runs. The first run, I'm using OBS to record it so you can see it more clearly. And we're gonna be focused on how hot the 5900X gets with the NHD15 and all those Noctua fans. So let's go ahead and We'll run that and then the second run I'm going to be off OBS and we'll see what kind of score we can get at 4.6 all core overclock at the 1.625 volts. So here we go. Let me start the heat check. You can see it quickly jumped right into the 70 degree range and look at the wattage is pulling from the wall about 180 watts. You might even be able to hear the fans from my PC through this lavalier mic. You can see right there, we're in the high 70s, 77 degrees. All right, and just like that, you can see we had a max temperature of 78 degrees. And just so you know, I have run a 30 minute stability check using this Cinebench program right here, using the 4.6 all core, and it worked smoothly. There were no crashes, no nothing. So I know that this is stable, at least for my use. All right, and you can see with all my programs that I have open, that we scored a 22,214. So let me close all the programs down. Let me get off OBS and let's see how high 
we can get on the next run. All right, let's see how much a all core overclock at 4.6 gigahertz can get. Well, there you go, 23,263. It's not my personal best. My personal best is 23,353, but you get the idea. I believe this score is well above average for the 5900X. All right, so if you're planning to upgrade to a Ryzen 9 5900X like I did, make sure you have adequate cooling. Make sure your case has plenty of airflow, especially if you're air cooling. And if you're getting an AIL, well, that's on you. I want to thank you for watching. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. And may your CPU stay cool.